I pray that you have a fantastic week. We're having a fantastic week. Our group is on our cruise going to Alaska. Our theme is Journey to Alaska. I'll be speaking on Monday morning on the first of three programs on Journey. And then we have Yvonne McAndrew from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Reverend Patrick McAndrew from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Reverend Jean Marie Daniel from uh, the Boulder, Colorado area. Reverend Beth Head from Melbourne, Florida. And Reverend Connie Van Sant from Arizona. So we really load our program. So many people, when they do spiritual retreat cruises, they only do a brief little program or get together uh, a couple times a week. Listen, you come on one of our cruises, we spiritually feed you. We have so many fantastic speakers this time. It's uh, really unbelievable. One of the things that we talk about on our spiritual retreat cruises is the real you. You're a spiritual being more than you are a human being. In Colossians 3, verses 9 and 10, it says, You have stripped off the old self with its practices and clothed yourself with the new self. Well, isn't that the goal of every one of us? No matter what church we go to, it is the goal to become a new and a better person than we were yesterday. When you really, truly know who you are, the truth of your reality is this, that you are a spiritual being. So, instead of thinking and speaking of yourself in terms of weakness, or in terms of limitation, you think and you speak in terms of strength. And you draw upon the reservoir of spiritual strength that is within you. How can you be sure that it's always there? You can because you were created with the Spirit of God within you. When you have decisions to make or tests to complete, you have the wisdom and you have the understanding to do your very best. And prayer is a part of your preparation for any project that you undertake. In times of prayer, you gain insight into the real you, the spiritual being that is capable, that is loving, that is peaceful and ready for whatever is happening next.